today I'm gonna be knitting socks for the first time. Well, it's probably not just gonna be today. It's probably gonna take me a while, but I just wanna document the whole process. I'm doing this pattern. It's called Bear Paw by Drea Renee Knits. The yarn that I have for this project is the Freya Soulmates hand-dyed identical ombre sock yarn. So it's gonna, it's supposed to look like this, but we'll see. Anyway, this is also my first time reading a pattern. I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe you also don't know what you're doing and we can learn together. These are the needles that I'm gonna be using. It's four slash three and a half millimeter needles. And it looks like a 32 inch circular for Magic Loop. Magic Loop is the technique, I think it's the cast on technique for the socks. And I've been practicing with much thicker needles and much thicker yarn, but I think I might be ready to go in and try it with these. So yeah, let's get knitting. Getting right into it, I also forgot to mention that I have all of these little notions. I forget what they all do, but I have them. We'll see if I use them. And then, oops, grab the wrong thing. Here's my needles, my yarn, and I'm just gonna be following the Turkish cast on tutorial that I have pulled up. Date. So I actually ripped out everything that I just showed you and restarted. So the pattern says to use two strands of yarn at a time. So I went ahead and put two strands together and it did like that. I followed the tutorial linked in the pattern and I think I'll link below all the tutorials I used. So I used that Turkish cast on tutorial and just followed that whole thing. And yes, both my strands are attached to the two balls of yarn that I have. And then I put a stitch marker in. I don't even know if it's in the right spot, but I'm gonna go with that for now. And I'm gonna take a pause and move on to the next step later. So these next steps that I've been knitting are basically just making one right and making one left on some rows to make the increase up from the toe. So this is a lot to keep track. I have written down the steps and just check marking everything I do. So that helps me keep track. I got pretty far in making this toe, but I'm having a problem. I started knitting using two strands held together. I'm using a, the weight is a one. So I think this pattern recommended to put two together for that weight. However, with my two self-striping yarns, I don't think I'd have enough yarn to do that and the socks probably wouldn't match since I'm doing one at a time. I think I have to start over and I'm gonna try just with a single strand and they're gonna be much thinner. This feels like a very thick winter sock. So it's probably gonna be a more lightweight sock but I think it's gonna be worth it to get that matching socks um, that look really nice. So I'm going to take a leave of absence and come back when I am this far once again. So now I'm using this yarn because it's more of a practice yarn and I have more of it. I got back to where I was and a little bit further. So right now I'm just continuing that and then I'll be done with the toe and moving on to the foot.
y'all. So it's been like a week since my last update, but I am making lots of progress. I did the ripping pattern for quite a while. There's some janky stitches in there. Don't mind those. And I started working on the heel and that's what it looks like. Don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but that's how it turned out. And yeah, I think I'm have a couple rows left in the heel. Then I'm working on, ooh, oh my God, let's just put that back. Anyway, I'm gonna start working on the heel turn pretty quick. Doesn't that sound like, that's like WWE terminology, right? Anyway, but I'm gonna be doing that and I will check back in. Right, this is my heel. It's a little rough because I didn't really understand the instructions, so there's like a weird dimple. I tried on this sock and it actually works as a sock so far. I think it's okay and I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. I have to leave the house really soon, but I am pretty far with this sock. I think all I have to do now is do the ribbing pattern all the way up until I've reached the end of the sock and then finish. I think I'm gonna end this video with the one sock. I know, second sock syndrome. But this has been a really fun practice sock, so I'll show y'all how it looks when I'm done and call it a day, because this video has taken me like, it's going on a month. Anyway, I'll check back in. Oh my gosh, did you guys see my fatal mistake? I literally cut off the yarn when I still have another side that I need to bind off and I had no yarn to work with. <laughs> Just tied another piece of yarn to this yarn and maybe I can weave this in. So here's the sock as it's finished off. I'm deciding not to weave in the ends, not to take the time to do that, just because I'm not gonna be making a second sock. I think this is just a practice. I'm gonna try it on, show you guys the completed sock, and then you'll get to see the satisfying ripping it apart. This is the sock, all done. Let me just tuck in these little things. We've got a toe, we've got a foot, we've got a heel, and we've got the top part. I'm glad I stuck it out for this, and I'm also glad that I didn't do this in my nice yarn. There's definitely a few mistakes that I made, especially when it comes to the heel. There's a few little like weird places that are increased, weird little bubbles that are in here, some holes, some skip stitches, but I'm very proud of myself. I learned so many different techniques that I didn't know before. I literally only knew how to do like a swatch, basically just knitting and purling before this. I learned how to rib knit. I learned different methods of increasing. I learned how to knit in that loop. I learned a different cast on method. The next time I sew a pair of socks, it's gonna be for real and I'm gonna use my nice yarn and I'm going to take everything I learned from this project and take it into the next one. I don't know when that will be just yet, considering that this took me like one month. But yeah, that's it. Now let's turn this back into a yarn ball. Mm -hmm. 